If I hadn't gone to McNally, I don't think I would be doing this for a living. Um, I don't think I would be doing music, period, for a living, to be honest. Nobody's going to come rescue you and discover you and hand you your dream in a box. I kind of joke that I've been singing since I was in the womb because um, my parents have horrible stories about me correcting their pitch when I was like three and singing harmony in the car and all kinds of stuff. I started taking classical piano lessons when I was five and I studied until I was ten but I was not thrilled to be playing classical piano so after years of begging my parents to let me quit they finally gave in. Through high school was studying opera and classical music, singing arias, doing music theater and so that's what I did my freshman year of college. I went to school in North Carolina I liked it, but it something just wasn't sitting right, and so I came home and I took a semester off, and I was a nanny. And my mom went to a college fair with my sister, and saw some kid with green hair at the McNally booth, and was like, oh, "Allie would like it there." I had never been in a band before, so was, the whole concept was very new to me. And um, classes like artist and industry. Uh, I just really feel like I got a lot out of them and I, I don't think had I, if I hadn't gone to McNally, I don't think I would be doing this for a living. Um, I don't think I would be doing music, period, for a living, to be honest. I left with so much material to show people and uh, market myself. Um, it, I just felt really supported the whole time I was there. Kevin's record really is so much better than yours. <laughs> I think the most important thing that I've learned is that the music business is a business and you should conduct yourself as such. You know, be on time, be nice. Nobody wants to work with drama queens, and when I've worked with them in the past, it has just meant that I won't work with them again. And there's so many nice musicians out there that you don't need to work with people like that again. So, you know, be as, as easy to work with as possible, and people are going to bring you around. The last few years, it's been pretty steady, around 100 shows. And luckily, you know, that you start out and you play a lot of free stuff, and you, you're just begging for any gig you can get. And um, the longer you do it, the more the phone starts to ring, you don't have to work so hard, the numbers get better, and so it's still 100 shows a year, but the quality of show is significantly higher. Just don't sit around waiting for something to happen to you. Get out there and get in front of as many people as possible. Nobody's gonna come rescue you and discover you and hand you your dream in a box.